The Fish Roundabout um, was an iconic Steinhardt exhibit, right? It opened in, I think, 1977. It was this sort of first uh, kind of donut-shaped or ring tank, uh, we call it, in the, in the world that was really executed properly. It was based on some Japanese designs that, you know, had not been really fully executed. Uh, and it was hugely influential. Walking up a ramp that allowed the viewer to look from inside the aquarium at the fishes swimming around them. And it was an opportunity to, to get a close look at fishes and occasionally large sharks. One of my favorite things to do when I first started, uh, I did the afternoon feed on the fish round about three days a week. And, and that was really something because you had basically an entire sink full of fish that you had thawed. Um, you would fill up two five gallon buckets all the way to the top. Two five gallon buckets filled with fish and fish guts and fish liquids. And then you had to carry them up like two or three flights of stairs um, to get to the top of this thing. Uh, and then basically it was at a set time, I think it was 1 or 1.30 every day, you just like started shoveling this stuff into the tank and it exploded. Uh, the tank was full of uh, yellowtail and California barracuda, um, some mackerel and these uh, really interesting stingrays. Uh, and they would just devour the fish, it would be gone in seconds. And then you'd take the two empty buckets back down the two or three flights of stairs. And unfortunately one day, I slipped on the edge of the stairs and landed on the edge of the stair. I broke two little bones in my back. Fortunately, all is all ultimately healed up just fine, but the insult to injury was the fish guts in the bucket went up and all over me. And I couldn't at the time couldn't really move and was just yeah, it's got to go to the emergency room covered in fish guts. That was I don't know if that was a low light, not a highlight. One of my favorite things about it is it was in the late 1990s was voted the best place to make out um, by the San Francisco Bay Guardian. Uh, and I remember getting that award, but that was a riot.